And hello everyone, welcome back to some Dragon Quest IX. Right, what are we doing today then? What are we doing? Well, we arrived at All Trades Abbey last time, where we found out that uh, if you wanted to change your vocation, first of all you'd have to come here, and the abbot, who's wonderfully called Jack, Jack of All Trades Abbey, uh, he, he would perform some sort of ceremony and then you can do a different job but unfortunately he's missing we've no idea where he is and uh, in first well my first impression of this place is it's not actually that big so we may have to leave very soon in our attempt to find out where the hell he's gone but we've got some books to read first there's a book called an encyclopedia of steel weapons Iron ore and lava lumps are essential for steel weapon making. Those can be found in the All Trades area. Well, that's good to know. Because um, maybe we want to make some. Like steel broadswords, spiked steel whips, lances, steel bars, steel claws, and steel fans. Steel axes. So there are axes in this game. I've not come across one yet. What's this dude doing? Apart from lying in a bed. I've been running around looking for the abbot, and I haven't slept a wink. Let a man have some rest, will you? Sorry. Sorry. Um, oh, steel armor. Perfect. You need royal soil, which we have got some now, and an iron ore to make steel stuff. Here's a hint. Explore around uh, all trades. Well, I think we'll do that then in this video. Sh uh, steel shield, steel helmet, full plate armor. That sounds pretty awesome to me. Um, off screen, I did upgrade. Uh, I think it was Mariella's equipment. No, it wasn't. No. No, it wasn't. It was Olivia. <clears throat> She's got a slightly different setup now. For some reason, I'd completely forgotten to give her a pair of gloves. So, that's uh, been rectified. She's wearing um, Mariella's blue knickers now. I hope she washed them before she wore them. And uh, that's about it. So, yeah, if we can find some materials around all trades to get crafting, that would be pretty sweet. Um, but there's not much else to do here, I don't think. We had a look around here, because there was the bar. I'm pretty sure we spoke to everyone there, but that's about it. So, I assume we're just going to have to try somewhere else. And we've not explored the region around here at all, so I'm excited. Very excited indeed to do so. And I can't get over how pretty this place is. I'll tell you what, it's not a bad looking game. I know it's, uh, it's on the DS, and the DS is definitely an old system at this point. But, my god, it really isn't that bad, is it? Right, so looking at the map, I see we have... A few options to us. There seems to be an area to the right, possibly a building, also to the left, something in these trees. Oh, and of course enemies, which we'll have to take care of. Two Cyclowns. Oh, they're too stunned to move, are they? Brilliant. Perfect Amundo. But yeah, of course we have seen these last time when we arrived on the Starflight Express. Boom. The Cyclones are defeated, and some XP. I've no idea how close we are to leveling. Uh, let's do a bit of divination on the go. Um, ooh, Mage is very close. Olivia, not so much. And Ricardo, hell to the no, but Mage is going to be level 18 before we know it. We fought some Slime Knights. Oh shit, this is the tree that we landed on. Oh my god, what the hell is that? It's a bad boon. A fucking bad boon. <laughs> Alright then. Let's do... Attack. 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 And a crackle. Look at that ass. Ooh, he's enraged. I didn't get a chance to read all that. 147? Olivia, that's... That should be illegal to do that much damage. 
Holy shit. And 69 gold coins from the bad boon. Alright, so that's the tree where we started. So, oh, and another one. <clears throat> let's, um, let's head, let's head, bleh, let's head over to the right. I'm curious to see what's over here. Oh, we got normal slimes still? No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, running in circles does help, but this guy just wasn't giving up, was he? Are they, are they just regular slimes? I didn't think we'd be encountering these guys again. Okay, I guess we'll kill them. Strange that they would be here. Oh, they are tougher though. They definitely are tougher. Just upgraded versions then, I guess. Yeah, they are tougher, okay. Just attack. I can't be bothered thinking about this fight. Stop calling for backup, unless this is going to get me tons of XP. I, I just doubt that, though. I doubt that these slimes are going to give me much. 131! Holy balls! Why are these crits doing so much? That's crazy! Alright, only 36 XP. What a waste of time. Ooh. Speaking of time, looks like uh, we've got some evening upon us and more slime nights. Three of the dicks. I tried to avoid them, but the path there was very, very narrow. Why the hell? That's annoying. Why are two slimes in a group and one isn't? Do you not like that guy or something? Is he... Is he just tagging along the third wheel? How very weird. Um... Attack him then. Attack him and a bang spell. Oh, they can heal themselves too! What bastards. I wish the bang spell was just a tad more powerful, but holy shit, Crackle did the business. Did it ever? 96 XP. Does that mean uh, we're going to get a level up? Yes, it does. Very nice. And we have now 100 HP, triple digits, baby. Four skill points as well. Lovely jubbly. What am I going to spend those on? I've got eight. I think we're just going to carry on with swords, I'd say. Um, even though shields might be a good idea. Block chance plus 2%. Hmm. Maybe later. Let's just pop them all into swords. Oh, we're well, one away from Miracle Slash. That sucks. God damn it. Alright, so what do we have over here? Oh, it is a building. Ooh. Big old tower. With some weird noises. Any chests around here? Yeah, some weird noises going on. And some flowers that we can't examine. It doesn't look like the doors will open. There's not even a keyhole. God damn it. We came all this way for nothing. Ugh, oh well. Looks like we'll be coming back here later then. Damn it, all the way here for nothing. And I haven't seen any shinies or harvesting points. Leave me alone. So I wonder where we're going to find those. I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to be attacked by another Cyclone. Ugh, how annoying. Okay, they were dealt with very easily. I'm going to try and avoid those if I can. But I'm, I, I want to have a really good look around this region. Especially if we can find some crafting materials. Now, they did say around the Old Trades area... So we've got to come across some somewhere. Hopefully, we can make something pretty awesome with them. Some steel equipment would be very nice. No, leave me alone, Cyclone! Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of fucking posies. That dude is not giving up. I'm going to run out of... Sp oh my god, what is that? I've just nearly run into. God damn it. 
Alright, another Bodkin guy. I know we've seen him last time. How annoying is that? How bloody annoying. He just wasn't for giving up the chase. It looks like we've come across some sort of uh, clay face looking guy. Some sand monster. That I wouldn't mind fighting. Although he's gone now. Where's he gone? Do -do -do. Oh, here's one. Mudraker. Ugh. That is totally Clayface. Yuck. Right. I wonder if these guys in particular will be weak against ice. So I'm going to try a crackle spell or two. In fact, not with mage. There's no point. Let's just attack. Attack. Crackle. Because 8 MP is a lot. Especially for mage when he doesn't really have that much to begin with. I could have used the crack spell, I suppose. Alright, does the same amount of damage, really. Okay. 86 gold coins. How much money do we have now? Uh, it's still a decent amount. Even after all the... Oh, hell yeah, we've hit the jackpot, baby. Lava lumps. Give me that lava lump. Give me the... Yes. All of it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. We'll put this stuff to good use. Any uh, iron ore here? Or is it just lava lumps? Looks like it's just lava. Yep, that's fine. That's fine by me. So, if we can find some iron ore, that'd be great. So we're running back past the blue tree, avoiding the bad boons. Or oh, maybe not avoiding the bad boons. Shit. That's just the one, though. He strikes before the party has chance. No! He is a bit of a unit, isn't he? Bit of a hefty Henry. Doodle -doo, doodle -doo. So how's everyone doing anyway? I'm really enjoying this game. I'm really lucky at the moment. I'm enjoying every single game I'm doing. Uh, I've recently just... Well, I've not recently started, although I've recently just uploaded the first part of uh, my Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm going through Final Fantasy VI. And this game, I'm just so spoiled right now. I love it. And oh my god, Max. My dog is dreaming. He's doing the little noises in his sleep. That's adorable. That's adorable. Oh, and I've got a text. Oh, from Domino's Pizza. Oh. Oh. Mage has no friends except the pizza place that he frequents far too often. Oh well. Another bad boon bites the dust. That is adorable, Max. Why don't you do that more often? Why don't you do cute shit like that more often? Right. That was a delayed reaction by the bad boon. Ooh! Ah, oh, more shinies. Oh, the bad boon's got a friend this time. Well. I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered even thinking about these fights. Down he goes. Don't call for backup, you little bastard. Ugh. Why are we attacking the right one? How strange. Okay, 13 damage. It's reasonable. Right, what have we got? Ooh. That wasn't bad XP. Right, let's see. Royal Soil. Oh, leave me alone, Mr. Cyclown. Oh, he did leave me alone. <laughs> I'm busy gathering. You cannot attack me. Although you will probably... There's two of them now. Fucking, I'm getting gangbanged by a bunch of Cyclowns. Okay, they were actually a little bit of a... A problem. They kept using this ability called Wind Sickle, which attacked everyone, or pretty much everyone, and it did quite a bit of damage, so I need to uh, 
do a quick heal all. So we can continue our search of the region. But well, that's uh, a lot of royal soil we just got, so again, hopefully we could use that in a few recipes. Leave me be, leave me be. Right, so can we actually get down this way? Oh my fucking god! Just the one? Okay, we can deal with you. Yeah, I think I've just ran to a dead end. May have run into a dead end here, which is unfortunate, but hey oh, oh, what's he dropped? A magic beast hide. Excellent. I think we've got two of those now. This is a dead end. God damn it. Alright. Let's get back to the main path here. Ba -ba 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 -bum 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 -bum. Shit. I was looking at the map. It really is awkward. To, uh, to look at the map and run at the same time. I mean, it's great. The DS with its dual screens is certainly useful for that kind of uh, thing, and it certainly helps, you know, as opposed to having to go into a menu every time to check a map or something, but my god, is it so easy to run into things when you're not looking where you're going. Right, so let's go back down this way. Oh, is this going to be locked? Oh wait, no, this is... This is another town! Oh, it's a seaside town! Or a harbour town. Port, uh... Porth La Lafan. I'm sure that's a pun. Porth Lafan. But I don't know what it is. Anyway. Well, Moor mu tra Travellers, welcome to Porth Lafan, youngins. If you head down to the beach after sunrise, you'll be in for a treat. Do make sure <laughs> you take a look, won't you? I wonder what sort of accent they're supposed to have. Right, well, we found the church. There's a bit of a tale about this place, you know? It used to be a wretched poor fishing village, it did. And then after that huge earthquake, even the fishing went west. You mean, you mean south? Uh, we all thought we'd pretty much uh, had it by, by here. One poor girl called Jonah even lost her father in the storm when the earthquake hit. Poor, poor dab. Poor dab, sorry. But just as she stood weeping for her loss on the seashore, Le Leviathan showed up and has given the village fish every day since. Leviathan? Ah. Welcome, child. What brings you to... Uh, nothing. Nothing, thanks. Don't know why I spoke to you, actually. Right, so we've got an inn. Oh, and we got a ghosty. Whoa, whoa, why is this happening? The village is sick, oh whoa. Alright, so I wonder what we do to solve this. Someone building a house here? Got a nice little hut. Oh, we got some cow shit from the pot. Yay, cow shit. Alright, what have we got in here? Oh, some fish cooking. I'm ever so sorry. Bished I am. I really need to sleep now. I do not know which sort of uh, dialect this is supposed to be. It's, it is familiar to me, but I just can't quite place it. Anyway, let's, uh, let's stay at the inn. Ba, 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 da. Don't see many travellers uh, around here. We don't go down to the beach in the morning and you'll see something special. Well, I guess we'll, uh, we'll stay overnight and check out the beach. I wonder what this Leviathan's like. Ba, ba. And maybe people are more uh, willing to talk now that it's not the dead of night. Oh, Christ. Yeah, look at all the people. What is going on here? It's a young girl gazing out to sea, deep in prayer. She doesn't seem to notice, mage. What are you playing at? Stay out of Jonah's way. You'll be in trouble beyond beyond if you aggravate the Great One. Oh, it's my bad. Sorry. I'm new in town. I'm sorry. Mayor Bryce. You're travellers, aren't you? Would you mind giving us a bit of space by here? Are they supposed to be Welsh? 
Are they supposed to be Welsh? I've just, I just, the moment I read that, it's taken me a while, but I think they're supposed to sound like Drippy in, uh, in Nino Cooney. She's starting, she's starting, and I can't do a Welsh accent, so I'm not going to even try. Soul Christ. <clears throat> anyway, um. Ooh. Almighty Leviathan, rise up from the depths and bless us with your presence. Lend us your power and shower the gifts of the oceans upon we, the humble folk of Por Porth Lafan. It actually sounds like a place in Wales, too. Like, that sounds like a Welsh kind of place name. Because we've already had Scottish, so now we've got Welsh, I'm guessing. Oh, and Stella's popped out to say hello. What's all this about? Sounds juicy. Look, over by, over by there. Say, I can't do it. I can't do it. So I'm not going to even try. From Wheels. Wow. Oh my god, it's a fucking whale. Wales. Welsh. Whale. Dude. That's so fucking good. Woohoo, praise be. Fish buckets and buckets of fish. Look at that dude in the middle then. He was doing a proper little uh, dance. Aw, oh, Stella got all wet. Why not give the newcomers a word of warning before it starts raining sprats and cods, hmm? So what was that gy gymongous great big thing anyway? What's it doing being bossed about by a little girl? Well, I'm kind of being bossed around by a little girl. Yeah, it's totally supposed to be uh, Welsh, isn't it? I get it. I get it. Uh, looks like another bumper crop for us today. How strange is that? Yeah, why the hell is it suddenly taking a liking to her? Come on, Jonah. Dab just one more time. Call Leviathan. She's just, she's just done it. We can't get by on this lot, not with my old man having his bad back and that. I, I don't know if I can. Stop, stop being so demanding. Surely you can be happy with all that fish that you just got. Why am I talking to the mayor again? I didn't mean to. Hello. Bet that shook you rigid, didn't it, Leviathan? It was the god of the sea. He comes by year, by year whenever... No, no, I'm not going to do it. I keep on trying. I keep on being tempted by it, but no. 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 I will not. Jonah Jones... Uh, praise to him, and we all get buckets of fish just like that. So the days when we risked our lives out there on the ocean for the catch are, be are behind us now for good. Really, is it for good though? There was me thinking uh, they were all pitching a tale about Leviathan. I was sure it wasn't uh, real. Showed me, eh? Right, I've had my belly full now, so I'd best head home for a quick nap. Excuse me. Oh, man after my own heart. Man after my own heart. We've been worshipping Leviathan by uh, for ages. Um, <laughs> for ages. The god of the sea protects us all, so they say. But I never expected to see him with my own eyes, like, in the day. I and day in, day out, too. You wouldn't credit it. Yeah. It is a tall tale, isn't it? But something is fishy about it. Get You know, like I, oh, I butchered that delivery, but you get the joke. Something's fishy going on. Yeah. Why didn't I say that first? Anyway. Hello. There's weather we had. Uh, the, the the day of the earthquake. Biting. It was biting. Jonah's father, Dylan, was out fishing when, uh, when it hit, you know, got swallowed up by the sea, just like that. Boat and all. Well, there was only her and her dad in the house, wasn't there? So the poor dab's living all on her own now. Leviathan must be feeling sorry for her, I suppose. That's why he's turned up all of a sudden, like... That'd be an interesting thing, wouldn't it? The sea creature that accidentally... caused the storm, which caused the... death of the father, to then be like, okay, I'll just give you a fish for life now. Lifetime supply of fish. It's a shame I'm not a big fan of seafood, because... that would be super... ideal, wouldn't it? That earthquake uh, before upset the fish in some something chronic. I thought we'd pretty much had it, to be honest. If Leviathan hadn't showed up, uh, started showing up when he did, I wouldn't like to say what might have happened to us all. 
Okie dokie. Right, well, we've got a weapon and arm and an armor shop here and an item shop, actually, so let's ch 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 check it out. Have you ever had the feeling when a... Oh, sorry, this is one of those guys. <clears throat> Have you ever had the feeling when a cracking idea hits you like, like a light's gone, ab gone on above your head? You have? That's marvellous. That's inspiration, that is. Tidy. It is fucking drippy talk. Dude. If only I could do Drippy's voice. I love Drippy. If anyone doesn't know who Drippy is, play Nino Kuni 1. It's great. Proper tidy. Right. Well now, we've got Leviathan by here, so there's no need to, to work, is there? So I've decided to shut up shop. Are you shitting me? I fancy you'll be my last customer ever. Oh, he's still gonna sell stuff. Cool, cool. Phew. I was worried there for a second. What have you got? Iron Axe, Sledgehammer... Oh, none of our current classes can actually equip this stuff. I see. And the boomerang? No. Now we could... Could uh, get an iron shield again, but I'm gonna try and save and see if I can make some steel stuff. So I might not bother with any of this crap for now. Although that dancer's costume might be good. For both of our uh, mages, actually. Hmm, and it's fairly cheap. It's fairly cheap. Um, rubber gloves. I'll tell you what, that's pretty good too. Oh, for deafness at least. Pop socks. Foot coverings for females that fit the leg up to the knee. Okay. Wellington boots. <laughs> oh, insulate against electrical attacks. Oh, that could be useful. Right, well, we've had a look at the equipment there anyway. I just, I am going to sort of hold off buying anything in case I can craft some stuff. Let's check out the item shop. And smash all the barrels. Welcome to the item shop. How can I help you? Um, holy water. Magic water. Ah, you sell accessories. That's good to know. I'm actually going to buy... Because I think aren't gold rings used in recipes that we've got? I'm going to buy a gold ring. I know we've already got one, but I don't want to use it up. It's only 220 gold, so there we go. I'm not going to equip it. I think that'll do for now. So we will carry on exploring the town. I've got a really itchy nose all of a sudden. Holy shit, that's really itchy. Ah! Ah! Right, okay. Uh, that's a lovely boat. You're a, tra uh, you're a traveller, aren't you? Probably heard you could get a boat from here to over to mainland off east, eh? Well, you're out of luck, I'm afraid. No one's sailing any boats just now. Now, I know that's completely the wrong accent, because he's supposed to be, you know, speaking like these guys, but I just like, I like doing that voice, so. <laughs> no no point risking our lives and fetching the fish now, Leviathan does it for us, like. Very true, very true. I can't help but feel that there's something not quite right about all this, though. Let's see who lives in our house like this. Ah, oh, chesticle. Oh, it's locked? Bollocks. Excuse me, sir, can you unlock that chest for me so I can loot it? I'll be. I'm uh, Porth, Porth Laffin's warden. Ten years I've been doing this job now. Like the warden of the north. There's a book called Cooking with Carapaces. Every tortoise-based recipe begins and ends with a tortoise shell. For some reason, crabids seem to drop them. Ew. Crabids, eh? Tortoiseshell armor. Alright, we'll keep an eye out for any crabids. There's a book called Head Turning Fashions. Many items can be alchemized from hairbands and bandanas. So stock up on some in Stornway if you can. Really? 
Oh, we've already got a trailblazing bandana, but we could make a Mercury's bandana. And bunny ears. Golden tiara, feather headband, which we've already got. And a gold circlet. God, there's so many recipes in this game. What's the else in this house? Right then, uh, is that this place explored? There's another gate this way. Where's this going? The door is locked. God damn it. Anything over this way? No. Right, well, no sign of the abbot here. But possibly another situation we'll have to immerse ourselves in. Let me just, uh... Quickly check down here again. Some birdies, nothing else. Nope. Okay. Right then, let's uh, continue our exploration of the region. In fact, let's have a quick chat with Stella to see what she says. I'm looking for old fat guts, uh, and you're looking for the figs. Let's put our legs together and get out and find them. Alright, well that's useful. Thanks, Stella! Righty ho, so it looks like I can't really get to that cave without going through the town. So is there really anywhere else we can explore around here? I don't know if there is. Excuse me, slime. I'm trying to look at the map. Well, if you want to die, you want to die. I can oblige. Have, uh, is Crackle going to attack all of them? Yes, it is. Dude! I wonder if Crackle's going to attack... Are they all going to be in one group still? I hope so. Ah, calling for backup like that. Hell yeah! You just called your mates to die instantly. I hope you feel good about yourself. Alright. Um, so, I'm going to wander over this general direction... I want to find some iron ore. That would be awesome if I could find some iron ore. But where could it be? Ah, ha, ha, bingo. Yes. Now we are talking. So what I might do, now, I mean, we do have the zoom spell too. I keep on forgetting that. I reckon I'm going to zoom back to Stornway and see if we can make anything. I reckon that is a damn good idea. And we can have a look around to see if there's any more quests popped up now, too. But first, to the inn. With our old mate, Crackpot. And this brilliant music. Who the hell are you? Well, hello. How lovely to meet you. I'm from the Syndicate of Pubs, Inns, and Taverns. The Syndicate, eh? My name is Selma. I'm here today to tell you all about DQVC, the fantastic shopping services we're now offering. Ah, uh, it's online stuff. No, thank you. Um, no. No, no, no. Very well, would you like to use... Without connecting instead? Wait, can you do that? Uh... Oh, isn't she lovely? Hello, welcome to DQVC. We've got some great items for you today. Now, you don't seem to have any... Oh. Oh, so you can't... Oh, fuck it then. No. No, thanks. I'm sure that's a... that was a really useful feature for people playing it back in the day. Uh, you'll never guess what. Someone from the Syndicate of Pubs, Inns and Taverns is here to set up some kind of shopping service. I know, I've just spoken to them. I'm not interested, sorry. Right, I wanted to talk to the pot anyway. Because his service I can use. Right, so let's try... A recipe! Uh, weapons. Swords. Steel broadsword. Oh, we need an iron broadsword. We've got one equipped, so I just need to unequip it, and we can make a better sword out of an iron ore and lava lump. 
That's fine, so I will unequip my sword. Which is a little bit of a faff. But hopefully it'll be worth it. So mage, you take off that sword. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And just equip the soldier's sword for now. I do love this music. <laughs> it's really catchy. Right. Recipe. Weapons. Not spears. Swords. Steel broadsword. Do it. I'll toil and trouble myself to make a steel broadsword then. You do that. Hell yeah. Nice. Right. What else can we make? Spears. Steel lance. Alright, so I'll do the same again. We'll unequip the iron lance. Which again is a little bit of a faff. I wish we could just do that from the crafting menu itself. But, never mind. Unequip that. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Nothing equipped. Welcome back, my boy. Yes, I've not been gone two seconds. A steel lance, please. Oh, yeah. Mage requires a steel lance. Alright, let's have a quick look. What else can we do? Can we do um, any better claws? Steel claws, would they be better? I can't... You see, I don't know if that would be better than the one we've got. I'm guessing it would. Attack 31. It must be better than... Uh, is it better than the Raging Claws? All right, so attack 31. Ah, wish you didn't have to have all that dialogue every time. Right. Olivia, what attack does your claws have? Uh, how do you check without unequipping it? Equip. Does it say? How can you check how much? God damn it. Discard, equip. Is there a way of seeing? Well, maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. You'll have to tell me if there is a way. Seems a little bit fiddly to me. But we'll make, uh, we'll make these claws anyway. We'll soon find out if they're better or worse. But, uh, I am liking this crafting system in general. Seems like it's gonna be really useful. There we go. Steel claws. Right, so let's go equip all this stuff. Do-do-do-do. Yes, crackpot, shut up. You're awesome, but please, I don't need a... <laughs> your life story every single time. Alright. Let's equip the... Steel broadsword, which is amazeballs. Equip your spear. And yes, they are slightly better. Slightly. Cool. Alright, I'm happy with that. Um, I suppose we'll look at armor next. Can we make... We'll probably need to go get more ingredients, though. We've probably used up most of our iron ore, at least. Uh, so let's try... See what shields we can make. Steel shield. So we need an iron shield, first of all. Yeah, we've only got one iron ore left, so what I'm gonna do, probably off-screen, is go get more materials and... see if I can build up a nice stockpile of stuff for next time, so we can make... a bunch of new equipment and get everyone upgraded. 
but I'm still at a, at a loss, really, as how we're supposed to progress the actual story, because I, I don't know where we're supposed to find this Abbott guy. And now that we've had all this Leviathan stuff thrown onto us too, I've not really got a clue what to do. Uh, are there any more quests popping up? None of these are blue. Hmm. I don't know, let me know guys, if you think you know of a quest location. Any, you know, any, anywhere a quest might have popped up now, please let me know and I will see if I can get it done. I have no idea how long I've been recording. This might be a really short video at the moment. So what I might do, I'm gonna zoom back to Old Trades Abbey. Just have a quick look around here again, just in case I missed something, but it's a really small place. I don't really know what else I could do. So, I don't know. Have I looked everywhere around this region though? Have I looked absolutely everywhere I can? I mean, that um, that building to the right was not accessible at all. I have no idea how we get to the marshland kind of area with all the puddles and stuff. Now we can't get to the cave without going through the town. So I am a little bit at a loss currently. Hmm. So again, if you want to give me any uh, any hints or tips, but please, no spoilers. Whoa! Let's try out these new weapons anyway. See how much damage we can do. Well, Ricardo doesn't have a new weapon. He's the only one that we haven't upgraded. Oh yes, I'm liking that new sword. Ho -ho. Good stuff. But yeah, I, yeah, I'm definitely in between videos. I'm going to try and gather as many materials as I can. Because that's just kind of boring stuff that you don't really need to see me doing over and over and over. Um, yeah. So what do we do? I mean, we definitely couldn't go into this building, could we? Fuck off. <laughs> you little shits. Three of them. Why, why do they feel they need to attack me? It's obvious I'm way too powerful for them. Like, I destroy them completely, every time. I'm just glad that we've upgraded our weapons, though. Especially mages, because, uh... It's always nice to have, you know, the character, the main character... ...getting a really powerful weapon. And he was definitely lagging behind Olivia for a long time, so I'm... ...pretty chuffed with that. I have no idea how to uh, get into this building, though. Sod off. Oh my god, we dodged one and straight into another one. God damn it. Well, guys, uh, I'm gonna cut this out. I don't know if this will be the end of the video or not. I really don't know how long I've been going. So if it is the end of the video, bye. Thanks for watching. If not, I'll see you in a second. <laughs> This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.